this video will help you and improve your forex trading and give you results so if you're interested just watch to the end it will not be short so take a notebook write down all the notes that you will find interesting and helpful my name is esther morfrey i'm a forex trader and i'm willing to help you improve your trading uh, results i want you to become profitable and when i say profitable i mean from watching this video alone, you can try and do exactly as I have said. You can hop in in any pair, draw the patterns that I will be sharing with you. And by the end of this lesson, you'll be transformed. Not only will be transformed, but at least you will build your confidence to be able to trade. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we are doing lesson one for our time frame. I'll be doing so many lessons, so it's better you subscribe to this channel and you first you like the video so that it can be recommended to many people because it's very helpful. So we'll be doing lesson one and we are focusing on four hour time frame. And I want to tell you, if you want to master four hour time frame, you need to understand these two patterns. You need to understand a double bottom pattern and a double top pattern. In lesson two, I will be mentioning double tops. So today, let's focus on double bottoms. So whenever you want to trade a double bottom, whenever you want to trade a double bottom, there are two things that you need to understand. We have a double bottom on an uptrend. We have a double bottom on an uptrend. So this is a double bottom on an uptrend. And let me just draw it clearly for you because I want you to follow everything. So I want to draw it clearly. So we have two types of a double bottom. We have a double bottom that is on an uptrend. So this is a market that is making high highs and high lows. And then all of a sudden, the market comes to this low. So this is an illustration of sellers becoming a bit stronger because they have created that double bottom. So the question is, will this market continue with the trend? So this is a double bottom. This is what we call a double bottom on an uptrend. So if you look at this chart and you look at the trend, it's a double bottom on an uptrend. Now, when we look at the double bottom on the downtrend is when the market has been going down, creating lower lows and lower highs. And all of a sudden, the market uh, have the same lower lows, the same lower lows. So uh, where are we? So this, the market gives you the same lower low. So the, the, the thing is, you need to understand that the two are double bottoms. You can't say that one is, no, is a double bottom, the other one is not. Both of them are double bottoms, but both gives you different results and both is the way you need to trade them. You really need to be careful whenever you're trading a double bottom on an uptrend, even a double bottom on a, on a, on a downtrend, the fact that you understand there's a difference, it's a plus. I want you to comment down below, like now I understand the different types of double bottom because the minute even you type in the comment section, you are decreeing and declaring that through this video, I have understood one concept. The fact that now you understand that there are two types of double bottom. You have a double bottom on an uptrend, this one. You have a double bottom on a downtrend uptrend downtrend so the question is what how are you supposed to trade it now let me show you with the charts these are the charts now we have a double bottom on a there's a double bottom on an uptrend so you can see this is where the market has started so from this down here the market was trending above making an uptrend and all of a sudden we have this double bottom one attempt and the second attempt so the question is if you have a double bottom, you already know that double bottoms we look for buy. And if it's on an uptrend, an uptrend is for buy. So this double bottom, it will be easier to trade. Why? Because for us, we want this market to go up. It will be easier. But let's come to on this side. This double bottom is on a downtrend. How do we know it's on a downtrend? You just need to uh, zoom out your chart. You can see this is the lowest, the highest the market was, and it has the buyers seems to have no effort to break through. So what is happening? Sellers are in control. So you can see sellers are in control. Buyers have no momentum to keep pushing the market up. So sellers have taken in control, yet they have 
of, uh, are formed at double bottom. So I want you to show you that in, in, in the times of you have a double bottom, the first question you should ask yourself, is it a double bottom on an uptrend or is it a double bottom on a downtrend? So once you know it's a double bottom on a downtrend, my friend, the next thing that you need to understand that double bottoms are for buy. But this trend is down, meaning sellers are in control. So the trend is what is conflicting with the pattern. So the trend is downtrend, yet the pattern is for buy. So it will not be, I'm not saying it can't buy, but I'm saying it will be very tricky. It will be very hard. Sometimes it will be tiring because these are patterns that tend to consolidate and range in one place. So for instance, if you understand from this pattern, yet it, it is a downtrend, uh, a double bottom on a downtrend, and already it has given us an entry. We have this bullish angle. You have an entry. If you use WBB or you just use candle confirmation like bullish engulf, marbozu candle, any kind of confirmation, pin bar, a hammer, if those are the candles you use, this double bottom in your eyes, it's correct to get in. And this is how I used to trade three years ago. Like I used to trade like this. So I see a double bottom. I don't even mind if it's a double bottom on an uptrend. And I'm thinking, why can't I just target to the neckline? And I'm thinking, oh, I will make a lot of money. Finally, I will have so much money. This is how I will make it in Forex. Let me tell you, everyone is always there. They think their strategy is, is the best. 182 pips, you're just planning how you'll go for vacation and everything if you use a high lot. But let me tell you, once you place that trade, the next day, the market does not obey. The market does not obey. You are frustrated. What's, ha what's not happening? For some time, you're even placing other buys because you are hoping that this market will still favor you. But all unto you. By the time you are getting that big red candle, trust me, let me show you how many pips you'll be down. You'll be down 286. It's either you, you are on a big drawdown or you have blown your account. If you don't cancel your, your losses, the market still continues to go down. The question is, if only you knew double bottoms on downtrends are not my take home, I will avoid double bottoms on, an up, on a downtrend because I will show you how to trade double bottoms on a downtrend. I will show you how to trade them and it is very, very easy because that's a lesson. I will show you that lesson. Comment down below if you want that lesson. If you want to, me to show you how do I trade double bottoms on a downtrend, because it is easier, yet people complicate it. So I want to show you that whenever you don't understand the difference part of the double bottoms, you'll be frustrated, and you'll be the one saying that patterns don't work, Forex is a scam, extra, extra, etc. But now let's go here. This is a double bottom on an uptrend. And this was the focus of the day. I wanted to show you because I have come to realize I train here and people will get, you know, when you have a class, like I have an ongoing physical class, online class, if you're interested to learn these things in detail, you have to subscribe to that class. It's only $400. The only reason I charge that, it's because these are some of the things I will separate from the crowd. I will try to tell you, yes, you know about double bottoms, but don't you think the double bottoms on an uptrend is easier? So if you want a detailed mentorship, you have to subscribe to that class. October class is starting on 9th October next week on Monday. So if you want that class, just inbox me or comment down below and I will, I will give you my number. And don't, don't, if you want that class, just I will leave my number. Actually, I will pin my number in the comment section below. So our focus for the lesson today, because I have told you, you have to take notes and you know what you need to know about double bottoms, more so on four, because that's our approach. So we have seen that double bottoms on downtrend, they can mess you. And I'm not saying every time they do this, but we need to avoid double bottoms on downtrend to think of buying. So what I want us to do is to focus now on this double bottom that is on the down, that is on the uptrend. We want to focus on this double bottom that is on an uptrend. So let me just put one screen 
so that now we can focus on this. You can imagine having a very good double bottom on a nap trend and it's on four hours. The best thing now it's on four hours. So you are, you are really um, bringing everything together. So it's on a nap trend that is a tick, a plus. So double bottom on an uptrend is a plus. Let me even give you a plus. So this is a plus. And then it's on a four hour is a plus. So how do we trade double bottoms on four hour? The only way we trade double bottoms on four hour is this double bottoms on four hour. Let me show you. The only way we trade double bottoms on four hour is that we use a strategy we call CR. B strategy. I hope you have written that in your book because I told you when you come to watch my lessons, you don't watch like you're watching TV. This is not a TV show. You have to take a book and a pen and you write some notes. Why? Because five years from now, those notes are the ones that will be helping you and even you'll be more advanced. But you see, we have to start from somewhere. So C stands for current. R stands for what? resistance and B stands for break. So it's called, the strategy is called current resistance break. So unless we have a, res, a current resistance break here, we do not have a what? We do not have an entry. So current resistance break, of course, if you know about a resistance, and I think I have taught this here, if you want me to repeat, I have taught how resistance are formed. If a green candle is followed by red, a resistance is formed. So the only thing we need to mark is our neckline. This is our neckline. Can you see our neckline? And then we need to mark the half. Guys, I have kept telling you about the half. And then you need to understand that in this trade, uh, in this trade, we have RBS. RBS is the newest um, package in my mentorship program. I am only teaching RBS to my students because again, I cannot expose everything. What will you come to learn when you pay? So the trade has RBS. And you know, when a trade has RBS, is a double sure trade. This one has RBS. So whenever a double bottom is on four hour, you use CRB. Uh, and then you check, is it on a nap trend? That's a plus. Again, to add icing sugar on the cake, RBS is like a ticket to heaven. <laughs> so this market is like a sure bet just because it has RBS. And if you're my student and you're watching this, just type down RBS and tell us if it works. It has worked on you. RBS, I have told you. Once I get like five more things for my students, I will share with you. So RBS and BWA are the packages for the mentorship program. And that's the reason why you're paying the $400. Anyway, let's continue. It's not about the class. It's about not explaining what is RBS. So you have a double bottom here and you have the neckline. So I have my neckline and then I have my half. So I want to show you what you can apply tomorrow or even today. It depends with when are you watching this video. I want to show you what you can apply, what you can apply immediately. So that is it. So this is, this is half. And then we are looking for CRB. So how do we, look, how do we get the CRB? We want for a green candle to be followed by red candle. So these are green, green, green. There is no red candle. So immediately, immediately we have a red candle. What do you think we have? What do you think is that? Current resistance. This is what you are calling CRB. CRB is current resistance. So we are looking for this current resistance to be broken for us to get an entry. So we look for that current resistance to be broken for us to get an entry. So we have a break. Can you see? We have a break. So the first TP, and I kept telling everyone, the first take profit is at the half. So the first take profit, long position, you will enter this trade up to the half. That's your first take profit. And then wait for the half to be broken. So that's our first take profit. You can see immediately it was hit. Can you see? Immediately it was hit. And then now 
to go to TP2, you have to wait for the half to be broken. And you see, it was a matter of time. So half has been broken. And because of RBS, you already know this trade, it is going to go to the neckline. So we come back here and we enter this trade. Can you see? So we come and we enter that trade. So we are heading to TP2. We are heading to TP2. And you see, when you know something, you have to apply patience because the market will not work in like the way you think. You can see that market has broke that neckline. You see now, whenever the market breaks a neckline, the next strategy that we use that I won't even talk here is BWA, BWA strategy. So what you need to understand is that because for you guys who don't know about BWA, if neckline is broken, this market is going that distance. So even if you enter right away, that market is going that distance. Let's see if this market entered that and went that distance. The only thing you need to understand is that if it breaks neckline, it has to go that distance. So let's see what really happened. Long position. So we want to see, did it go to that distance? So you can see the market was retesting. Did it hit our take profit? Yes, it did. What was it retesting? It was retesting your neckline. So if you want to put your buy limit under the neckline, you can. So in short, what I've tried, what I'm trying to tell you is that a double bottom on an uptrend, that is one. A double bottom on four hour UCRD. A double bottom that has RBS is always a tick. And then when neckline is broken, you can use C, uh, you can use BWA. And BWA is not a must. As long as neckline is broken, if there is a way you will know this market will continue to go up. And that's how you can master Forex. Let me tell you, after this video, you have to go and look at a chart. Go look at a chart that has a double bottom. And that double bottom, try to understand everything that I have talked about. Any double bottom that is on an uptrend, it will be easier for you to trade it. The everything will be easier. It won't be hard, it will be easier. So uh, I don't want to take much of your time. When we are coming back to lesson two, I want us to talk uh, uh, on on double bottoms that are on downtrend. How can you trade a double bottom that is on a downtrend? What should be in your mind when you are trading a double bottom that is on that is on downtrend? Thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. Make sure you subscribe and love you. See you the next lesson. Bye-bye.